Hey, Huckster here, picking up where I left off. <clears throat> I was talking about if a person was a thief before he got saved and he accepts Jesus as his Savior and believes on him and promises to keep his commandments and is forgiven his sins and becomes a new creature in Christ. He can't say then it's okay to steal something because he's covered with the blood. And I think that's what a lot of Christians do when they get saved or say they got saved and then remarried and it was okay because they were a new Christian. Can they be forgiven of their uh, marriages previous to being saved? I think so. But I think they have to abide by Christ's rules in order to be saved. And they have to uh, be able to forgive others as they say they are forgiven for their sins. If uh, If the scriptures tell us not to judge, lest we will be judged, and not condemn, lest we be condemned, and to forgive so that we can be forgiven. Much like when uh, in uh, Matthew 18, when Jesus was telling the uh, parable of forgiveness, uh, and this parable is sandwiched in between uh, Jesus teaching church discipline and the topic of divorce and marriage, uh, remarriage. And it's uh, Peter asks Jesus how many times uh, what should we forgive uh, a brother when he sins against him, and Jesus answers Peter so he's and, and the rest of the disciples so he's uh, talking to two believers in Christ so the parable is directed to people who are saved and Jesus answers uh, by saying 70 times 70 are an infinite number Many times, uh, Christians don't forgive that way. And as it, as it progresses, uh, Jesus talks about the king and the servant. And the, the, the situation was that the king was owed a large amount of money, and the servant could never repay him. And it's much like a large amount of sin. The servant pleads. Uh, and he admits his debt. And he begs for mercy. And, and the king felt compassion. And he released the servant from his debt. He forgave him his debt. And then the unforgiving servant that just got forgiven from by the king for his debt, he had a fellow servant, one of his peers, that owed him a small amount of money. So this unforgiving servant grabs his servant and chokes him. He has no mercy. He has no compassion. He has no forgiveness. So the indebted servant begged for mercy. He, he uh, 
refused to release him the debt and demanded payment. But he put him in a situation that he could never repay. It's what many Christians do to people. They put them in a situation they can never repay. They can never be forgiven by these Christians. And the Christians condemn them to a torture for eternity. So the, the original king that forgave his servant, he heard of the ungrateful, unforgiving servant and his refusal to forgive another servant what he was owed. So the king to the ungrateful servant tortured him until he could pay. Now the, the positioning of this parable by Jesus is pretty important. And uh, Jesus, Jesus uh, concludes with this statement. God will do the same to us if we do not forgive our brother from our heart. There's so many Christians here that they know they have sinned and they have asked forgiveness and they say they're forgiven. And yet they turn right around and condemn others to hell for their sins. Put them in a situation where there is no forgiveness of their sins. So what would the king do? I hope I, I made myself clear on this. And uh, if not, forgive me. How many times should you forgive me? As many times as I mess up. And I'll try my best to do the same with you. And I'll try to do it from my heart. And I'll try my best not to put you in a situation where you cannot be forgiven. Love everybody out there. And I, I want to take a minute to... Uh, ask for prayers for Grumpy Chuck who's uh, having surgery today uh, and I also want to say that the way things are looking right now I probably won't be on YouTube much longer I'm probably fixing to lose my internet service probably my power also uh, I think all of you know my situation. Yesterday I tried to split up some firewood and spent a couple of hours uh, splitting wood and, and loading it up on the porch for the drive. They were expecting snow today and it's been snowing all morning. But after I did that, I, I, my heart went crazy on me. I ended up having to go to bed. And, you know, it's 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 a strange situation. If I mean, I worked hard all my life, and you know, I, I've tried to offer a service, my paintings, which are probably are not that good, but I think it'd be a way uh, for those Christians who have a little extra and are looking for someone to help out. I'll, I'll give you a product. But anyway, if I end up gone, I've enjoyed it. I'm praying that something happens that I can stay. Peace, love, justice, understanding, 